Let's shift focus to the United Kingdom. Holidays are a busy time for hospitals, especially emergency rooms. This year, it could be crowded with patients. But doctors are nowhere to be seen. That's because thousands of them are on strike. Thousands of doctors. It's a three-day strike. It will last till Christmas. These doctors want better pay and better working conditions. And it's not the first time they're striking. Listen to this. This is their eighth strike since March this year, the eighth strike this year. So why is no one paying heed to their demands? Is the UK's National Health Service broken beyond repair? Our next report tells you. Doctors in England are on a strike. It will go on for 72 hours. Thousands are taking part. They're mostly junior doctors and they have one demand. Better pay for all. Since December, one million appointments have been rescheduled and more could be affected in the coming days. This is not the first time. In fact, this is their eighth strike since March. When we called for strike action, it was the government that walked away because they have this notion where they cannot speak to people when strikes are called. There's no law of physics which prevents them from doing so. That's a decision they've made. Well, from my first day of work, there was low staffing, the hospital was at critical capacity, there was corridor nursing. Me and my colleagues were expected to take up more senior decisions um, and work at a level where we're just getting burnt out. So what are their demands? NHS doctors say their salaries have barely increased in the last few years. Coupled with high inflation and the UK's cost of living crisis, they are making less money than ever. Plus, the publicly funded National Health Service has cut staff due to shortage of funds. So, medical professionals are working longer hours, but getting paid less. The situation is so bad that one in three want to leave the NHS within two years of graduating. So, what's the government doing? They have offered a pay rise multiple times, but for doctors, it just isn't enough. Their first offer was a 2% rise. The doctors called it an insult. Then the government came back with a counteroffer. A 6% pay rise for consultants and an 8.8% pay rise for junior doctors. The doctors have rejected that too. Uh, but I want also to address their concerns about working conditions and so on. But I cannot do that if they're on the picket line rather than in hospitals looking after patients. And what this means for the NHS as a whole is that rather than us focusing on, for example, the winter challenges that we know are coming down the train tracks towards us, instead professionals around the country have been having to uh, work intensively on how we can keep our hospitals and our health systems safe. So what is the solution right now? The best option is raising the NHS budget. In 2010, the Conservatives tried to cut down on NHS spending. It was part of austerity measures. There were protests, but that didn't stop the budget cut. And since then, the effects have been felt by the UK health system. The NHS runs on a budget that, according to estimates, is short by $28 billion. Does the NHS need more money? The answer is yes, but what it also needs are better working conditions and better infrastructure. This is one of the world's oldest publicly funded healthcare systems, and without reforms, it's likely to break down sooner rather than later.